Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video I'm going to show you another cute Halloween design inspired by Disney. So um, the inspiration came from uh, the one and only Home of Diva which she, you can find her on Instagram. I'm going to post a uh, picture of her work in this video and if you want you can check out um, her page. It is absolutely amazing. Now I'm starting my video with coating all of my four nails in the colors that I wanted to sort of start with to make sure that my design is complete. So this one was quite thought through. I didn't just go out on my head. Of course I didn't see Home Diva create this. I just saw the picture of it. So I'm sure I'm not doing um, exactly how she done it, obviously. <laughs> um, her work is uh, way, way over, <laughs> over what I could probably um, create. Anyway, over here I'm doing a um, French um, smile line, but sort of um, pointing outwards on the right side corner because I'm going to create my design on the tip only. Now, after I've um, done that, I'm coming in to, with um, matte top coats and doing it on all my nails because one, I want my nails to be matte and two, I wanted it easier to um, paint on. So now three, two, one. I'm starting with my first one, which is the spiderweb uh, Mickey Mouse head. This took a little while to be um, honest because it was my first time doing it and I wanted to make sure I get the angles right and um, of course, you know, making sure that I do a bit of justice <laughs> to her work. I'm going to let you watch this. Um, again, thank you so much for watching and for being here. If you are a subscriber, I really appreciate your views and if you're new, please consider subscribing. I upload weekly and I love doing nails, all sorts. <laughs> I am now coming at the end of my art and I'm coming in with this beautiful pink from Modelons and I'm covering up all of the areas where they have not got any um, any paint or drawing on it, whatever you want to call it. And that way, that that's sort of how you start creating that um, Mickey Mouse head by being very precise and that's why I said it took a bit longer as well because you have to come in with a detailed uh, liner brush and you know do all the little bits and pieces where you can barely reach um, to make sure that it comes out as round shaped as possible <laughs> even though it's a, um, a spider web you do have to make it look as a head as well so I found that at first it didn't look like a Mickey Mouse head because well you know you got the pointing bits outwards on each um, section and um, I had to sort of cover some of those up with the pink as well to make it look as rounder as possible if that makes any sense. Anyway I queued that in the lamp and now I'm coming in with matte but only on the pink area because I wanted my spiderweb to shine. Um, so I've got a matte uh, 
background and then a shiny uh, black spider web and then a matte surface overall um, surrounding the head. <laughs> I hope you guys have enjoyed that. Now I'm coming into my second part which is three, two, one and here we go. In this part, um, I know that Home of Diva has used acrylic powder to create that um, sort of 3D effect as um, and also matte uh, 3D. So, um, but the, what I thought here is um, for for my um, oh god, I can't find my words for my Mickey Mouse um, bat. I decided to just use a matte top coat on top of it because. I used quite a bit of, of uh, black and I was a bit afraid that it will be uncured and also move about and I didn't want it to sort of ruin the whole aspect of the nail and I didn't want to, you know, file and redo and any of that sort. So what I did is I cured as I went along for the bat only and then when I finished with the bat I top coated it. as matte top coated it sorry um i used matte top coat on it and then i've come in with my pink dots and then my clear acrylic powder threw that on them and then cured so when you use acrylic powder to create this um, 3d matte effect you do not need to cure the gel um before the acrylic you need to do your dots throw the acrylic on it and then cure it in the lamp um, as I'm going to show you here. So my my dots are a little bit different compared to hers in the sense that hers were a bit more, um, well, presentable to say the least, <laughs> and uh, a bit bigger. Mine are very, very tiny, but um, yeah, I, I still think it came out absolutely amazing. And this is my acrylic powder, just showing it on. Um, and then cure it. Now I decided to do a tiny tiny bit of difference here again where I come in with some crystals and I add them all around the um, smile line of it but the crystals are different sizes because so I wanted to go from the big to very very tiny and I used some um, beads as well which I think they made a big difference at the end. Right, so this here is the final look for my nail two. I hope you like it. And now we are starting with nail three, where I'm going to use my uh, stamping gel, which I wasn't very happy about, to be honest. Not at all, because it came out all mushy. I found it mushy anyway. Um, it wasn't as clear as um, I'd liked it to be. But what I did, I left the, um, the first one, which I did there, I've left it like that. I've gilded it in the lamp and then I've come in with stamping polish to do my bat because I found that that was faster, easier and they came out uh, so much better. So I think that the stamping gel I'm using is not a very high quality so my boo <laughs> didn't come out as I wanted it to. Anyway, as I come through I decided to make um, the first one which was the word boo, I wanted to make it a little bit shinier and so I used that gold foil to sparingly apply to it um, only for where it literally stuck because it didn't stick everywhere but it did give a nice um, abstract and I decided to keep that one shiny and then come on to the rest of the nail with matte top coat to cover my back as I thought it looked really really nice. Now this is my final look for the third nail and shortly I am going to show you my fourth and final nail. As you can see in this picture it's matte see-through black but I changed my mind and I changed the colour as well. 
Now I'm coming in with a full black, curing that in the lamp and then come in with um, this colour over here from Born Pretty and it is a magnetic colour, it gives this sort of um, green, blue shimmer, um, I don't know, I really really loved it and I decided to go with this. After I cured this in the lamp I came in with my matte top coat again to make it easier for me to draw my ghost. Now. Um, it is a ghost uh, that um, Home of Diva created but the background is a little bit different and the ghost in shape is a little bit small, in, not in shape sorry, in size. It's smaller but it still represents Mickey because, Mickey, <laughs> Disney, because he does have those Mickey ears still there. Anyway, I really enjoyed creating this last one. It, I found it the easiest, fastest and the cutest to be fair. Um, I don't know, what do you guys think? Which ones out of these did you find um, nicest? I, I found them all very nice and I definitely love a challenge and an experience and I think anyone who loves to do any sort of art should express themselves or try different things and um, get out of your comfort zone and I'm telling you I do not feel very comfortable doing a lot of things because it's not in in sort of in the area that I do things but I really found it rewarding and um, yeah my advice to anyone that loves to draw, paint or any sort of crafty activity um, to, to give it a go and create something that you think it's not possible or is too hard for you or you're never gonna make it happen because you can literally shock yourself of what you're able to do you just have to give it a try just because someone is an expert and does this amazing work and you're like wow they they have some ability that does not mean that you cannot have the same ability or probably not as high standard as them or probably even better than them or whatever you know i i'm not saying that i'm any better than than home and diva but um i am saying that i try to do my very best and try to push myself and create stuff that I think I'm not able to. And uh, yeah, I do always, always, absolutely always, always love my outcomes and the results that, that I achieve, even though um, I am disappointed in some, I am still feeling very proud for, for doing it. So guys, that's my advice to you today. I hope you have enjoyed my video. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Um, don't forget to check out Home of Diva's um, Instagram um, page because as I said, her work is absolutely amazing. And again, push yourself to do something that you'd love to see, but you're scared to do because you might just amaze yourself. And uh, yeah, there's still some time until Halloween and I still have one or two videos to upload for, for Halloween, but I'm also going to upload a video on autumn because it's also autumn, guys, and the beautiful colors, the, even though it's a bit cold, yes, it is cold, but the beautiful colors of autumn is to die for. And I think it is amazing to add them on anything, which I add them on nails, but you guys can add them on a piece of paper. Just art art you express your feelings you express everything through art and i hope you guys are going to do so if you do give it a comment below and let me know what you guys think as for my final say i have matte top coated everything and then i changed my mind again because that's just how i am and i decided to leave the background shiny because it was all sparkly and cute so my um tiny ghost is matte and the background is shiny <laughs> all right and uh, just um, to let you know that I left a um, bit of a tiny video of what I created uh, before this um, was uploaded and also what I'm going to upload next so if you guys are interested keep on watching it's literally a couple of seconds left and if um, you like it then uh, watch my pre previous video Th that one is not as cute as this one that one's all about vampire blood and uh, <clears throat> crime scene <laughs> but I still found it very very um, 
nice. <laughs> I don't know how to say it, but I really liked it. Anyway, this is the final result. I hope you guys have enjoyed and soon after this I'm going to show you my previews. Um, I will see you guys next time. Bye!